Hi, I think you all know who I am. As you well know, we are getting closer to my birthday. Every year, there is a celebration in my honor, and I think that this year, the celebration will be repeated. During this time, there are many people shopping for gifts. There are many radio announcements, TV commercials, and every part of the world, everyone is talking that my birthday is getting closer and closer. It is really very nice to know that at least once a year, some people think of me. As you know, the celebration of my birthday began many years ago. At first, people seemed to understand and were thankful of all that I did for them. But in these times, no one seems to know the reason for my celebration. Family and friends get together and have a lot of fun, but they don't know the meaning of the celebration. I remember last year, there was a great feast in my honor. The dinner table was full of delicious foods, pastries, fruits, assorted nuts, and chocolates. My favorite. Thanks, Dad. The decorations were exquisite, and there was many, many beautiful wrapped gifts. But do you want to know something? I wasn't invited. I was a guest of honor, and they didn't even remember to send me an invitation. The party was for me, but when that great day came, I was left outside. They closed the door in my face, and I wanted to be with them and share their table. In truth, that didn't surprise me, because in the last few years, all seemed to close their doors to me. Since I was not invited, I decided to enter the party without making any noise. I went in and stood in a corner. They were all drinking. They were some who were drunk and telling jokes and laughing at everything. They were having a great time. To top it all, this big fat man all dressed in red wearing a long white beard entered the room yelling, ho, 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 ho. It looked like he'd been drinking too. He sat on the sofa and all the children ran to him saying, Santa Claus, Santa Claus, as if the party was in his honor. At 12 midnight, all the people began to hug each other. I extended my arms, waiting for someone to hug me. Do you know, no one hugged me. Suddenly, all began to share gifts. They opened them one by one. When all had been opened, I looked to see if maybe there was one for me. What would you feel if on your birthday, everyone shared gifts and you didn't get one? Then I understood that I was unwanted at this party and quietly left. Every year it gets worse. People only remember to eat and drink, the gifts, the parties, and nobody remembers me. I would like this Christmas that you allow me to enter your life. I would like that you recognize the fact that almost 2,000 years ago, I came to this world to give my life for you on the cross to save you. Today, I only want that you believe this with all your heart. I want to share something with you. As many didn't invite me to their party, I will have my own celebration. A grand party that no one has ever imagined. A spectacular party. I'm still making the final arrangements. Today, I am sending out many invitations, and there is an invitation for you. I want you to know, if you wish to attend, and I will make a reservation for you, and write your name in with golden letters in my great guest book. Only those on the guest list will be invited to the party. Those who don't answer, the invitation will be left outside. Do you know how you can answer this invitation? It is by extending it to others whom you care for. I'll be waiting for all of you to attend my party this year. See you soon, and I love you. By the way, I know I sound like JW, but I had to use somebody's voice. <laughs>